the guy that I'm going with, and this is way deep, is Justin Jackson, um, who is uh, the backup running back, maybe, for the L.A. Chargers. So in 2018, the Chargers have had three running backs for the last two years. Okay, so we're just going to run down some snap percentages real quick. Ah, so yes. Just, so Justin Jackson in 2018 was on the field for 15% of offensive snaps. Melvin Gordon, who was their starting running back in 2018, was on the field for 53% of offensive snaps. And Austin Eckler was on the field for 35% of snaps. So if you add those up, you're just slightly over 100%. So there was a little bit of overlap with Eckler being on the field uh, with, with Melvin. Last year, 2019, Justin Jackson, he was on the field for 9% of offensive snaps. Melvin Gordon was on the field for 40% of offensive snaps. And Austin Eckler was on the field for 57% of snaps. So still not over 60%. Um, Melvin Gordon is no longer there. So the question comes down to how much more are they going to put Austin Eckler on the field? And if he's not on the field, then theoretically, Justin Jackson will be. So the first three weeks of 2019, um, when, when Eckler was raging, Melvin Gordon wasn't there. Um, he, so, uh, Justin Jackson had more than five carries in all three games and he averaged over five yards a carry in all three of those games. So he was good when he got the ball, just a small Um, sample size, small sample size. Yeah, of course. But they are like, these are sleepers. Yeah, but they've never had to give him the ball. And right. so, you know, when he's proven that they turn around and give him the ball, he makes the most out of it. Granted, I know Rivers isn't there. The offense is going to look a little bit different with Tyrod or or whoever ends up being the starter there. But so he's definitely deep on the sleeper list. Justin Jackson has had 30 targets in his first two years in the league. He's caught 24 of them and he has one drop. So he does have hands uh, at Northwestern. He did catch the ball quite a bit. Um, Also, all four years in college at Northwestern, he did have over a thousand thousand yards rushing. Um, He's essentially the exact same size as Austin Eckler. They're both right around six feet tall, right at 200 pounds. So it's almost like you could just plug and play him in um, with Eckler being there. And there's just from a size standpoint, there's not that big of a difference. And for me, if Eckler were to get hurt, then Justin Jackson is the clear guy there. The only thing that could potentially throw a a wrinkle into any of this is uh, the Chargers did pick Joshua Kelly in the fourth round. um, And Justin Jackson was a seventh round pick a couple years ago. So um, Joshua Kelly weighs 12 more pounds than Eckler and Jackson. So he could be the goal line back. So maybe uh, so that could be a detractor. I was hoping it'd be Jackson. But at the same time, um, you know, rookie running back, weird off season. We don't know what's going to happen. Please let there be football. Um, and, um, Joshua Kelly had 12 rushing touchdowns each of the last two years at UCLA. So he, so, you know, he knows how to get in the end zone. So ultimately Eckler gets hurt. Um, for me, it's Justin Jackson would replace him. I have him ranked at 122 overall in my top 125. Um, I so if he's I even do, in mine. Uh, he's not. You did not rank ah. him in the in the top top one twenty five. Uh, ESPN wow. currently has him going at at one fifty two, um, which is the middle of the twelfth round. So um, he's right on the. Will he get drafted? Will he not get drafted? Um, I think there's some value there just because of the snap percentage. They've never gone all in on, on one guy um, on that team. Uh, Lynn's still the head coach out there. So I, I don't know how big of a difference that is, but I, I do think that there will be some work available for whoever the backup running back is in LA. And so that's why I um, just wanted to highlight Justin Jackson as my sleeper. I think there's an excellent chance that him and Eckler are on the field at the same time. And there's a little bit more of that overlap that you see this year without Gordon in the picture. Uh, I, I envision Eckler splitting out wide a lot 
to try and create like bubble screens, open space to try and get out to the side and not have to do all that work behind the backfield. And obviously in those cases, you'd have Jackson in the backfield. So I would not be surprised. Yeah, right. And, you know, if there's audibles and stuff, you know, he gets the ball. I wouldn't be surprised at all if he ends up on a roster and is held throughout the season. He's a fine. I think he's a fine uh, late round dart throw. Yeah, he, he's definitely a handcuff um, for for the people that would have Eckler, in, in my opinion. I don't know how many people actually even do handcuffs anymore, honestly, unless it's like the top like two or three guys. But I, I do think he could have some individual value outside of a handcuff this year. Yep. 